there have been times where I've tried certain things with kids that I know work and in 30 seconds we've moved past it and there's no tantrum and there have been times where I've been stubborn and I've said no just listen to me and I'm not going to sit here and go through these steps with you because I'm annoyed and you should be listening or we're not going to do that and it's an hour and a half of a full-on meltdown that I could have easily avoided if I would have given them the opportunity to calm down and come back absolutely come back down to the same level wow yeah I love I love that I think that a lot of times we think that if we just ignore the feeling then it'll somehow go away but really what happens is toddlers don't know what their feelings are, they're starting to identify it. To them, it just feels like this big bundle of feeling. And so they really have a hard time picking apart at first, you know, what is angry, what is sad. And so I love that when you're labeling it and calling it out, you're telling them, this is the feeling you're having. It's okay to have that feeling and helping them understand and then giving them coping skills to be able to get through it. I love that you said taking a couple breaths or, you know, hugging a stuffed animal, giving them something that they can do. So what I've found works really well with the kids that I've watched is exactly what we were saying, but identifying that feeling right away. So there are times where if I have Liv, as an example, and Haley's leaving or Haley has to go do something, she's getting upset because she wants her mom, rightfully so, and she doesn't understand what's going on and she'll start, you know, I can feel it building up. I can feel the whining that's going to start turning into crying, that's going to start turning into a tantrum because... She's obs- not so much now, but when she was, you know, a little younger, like two, mm-hmm. that real tantrum phase, <laughs> but I could f- feel it starting. And right then I would sit down and I'd look at her and I'd say, you're sad because you want mommy. You're sad because you want mommy. You're sad because you want mommy. And I would repeat it and repeat it and repeat it until she started to calm down and look at me and say like, yeah, you hear me. You're right. I'm sad because I want my mom. Because a lot of the time they have these really big feelings and they don't have the capacity to say what those feelings are. And they're sitting there starting to get upset. And if we ignore them and we push it away, they're saying, no, you don't hear me. You don't hear me. You don't hear me. I'm upset. So I'm going to get louder because you don't hear me. You don't understand that I want my mom because you're trying to distract me. And I need you to know that I want my mom. So I think when you sit there and you take that moment to acknowledge them until they start to calm down and until they understand that you understand them, Uh, makes a really huge difference because just like us if we're in the moment and we're having a meltdown and someone keeps pushing us pushing it off and saying but look at that but look at that but how about that (laughs) and you're upset you're only going to get louder and more upset you're like you are not listening to me what are you doing you're not validating you don't understand me the first step to bringing them down is really validating that feeling and acknowledging it and telling them and even if you have to repeat it 20 times even if you feel silly doing it They'll hear you at one point and they're screaming. They will hear you and they'll say, okay, you do hear me. You do know what I'm saying. You do understand what's wrong. And that's, that's so true. And I think something that's so important to say here to piggyback on that is that whatever feeling they're having, a lot of tantrums may feel really silly to us, right? Like Haley leaving is we can, we can understand that we've missed someone before, but sometimes they have a tantrum over you know, wanting a stuffed animal that they just asked for. And then all of a sudden they say, I don't want that stuffed animal anymore. And that feels really irrational to us. So I always say that when you stay calm and present, you name that feeling and then validate it. You're sad because you wanted that stuffed animal and mommy didn't give it to you. I would feel sad too. I understand. And as silly as as and irrational as it may seem, it's really good to validate no matter what the tantrum is about. Yeah, totally. I always say, that even though it might not seem like a big deal to us in their little world, everything is a big deal. Oh, yeah. It is. It's it so is. good to come from that perspective. 